Previously on the bill. I don't think he's after takeaway. Mr. Collins, am I right in thinking that you were arrested for drug dealing? We both know that Isaac Collins is an old friend of yours. You have shown him nothing but favour. Right, thanks for the early start. This is the target, Darren Bigman. I thought the guy's name was Marty Kent. He's been using a stolen identity. The real Marty Kent has been pushing up daisies for the last six years. Now, as far as I'm concerned, Bigman is Isaac Collins' man on the street. He runs drug importation. Uh, sorry, I thought someone else put their hands up to that. You're thinking of the manager of the furniture warehouse. Only Ray Masden's confession doesn't add up. Distribution network, money laundering, he's clueless. Isaac Collins has made him his patsy. We believe that Bickman is the driving force. And he must be hiding something if he's prepared to gun down an officer while he's escaping. Now, Bickman took a mortgage out on a flat about six months ago in Larchfield Close. Surveillance teams have confirmed an IC1 mail on the premises. Have you got that? Yep. Now, this woman could be a girlfriend, has been seen coming and going with shopping and all that. She's Bickman's lifeline to the outside world. Special firearms unit will be leading the raid. Bickman is armed and dangerous, so we don't want a repeat of last time. Right, I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Talk about irony. Of all the officers, Gary takes a bullet for. Listen, Gary's dropped his complaint against me. We both sorted it out. I'm not a bully, so just leave it, right? Ooh. Bigman won't be wanted. Oi, you heard the governor. Nice, sonny. Bigman hurts himself getting into the van. It's not our fault, is it? Specialist firearms officers are on the block. Stand by. Standing by, Gosh. All units, go, go, go! Right, chill men. Could be high as a crack up. Doesn't look like an addict's flat, does it? <laughs> Oi! Oi! That's on a Darren Bickman guy. Hey! Do you know we got them? Don't know, can we do brother? There's loads of mail out there just for an Adrian Bickman. Adrian, is that you? Go! Adrian! Adrian! I'm Marilyn Mills. I'm his carer. Adrian's autistic. Get off me! Get off him! It's okay, Adrian. Shh, I'm here. Shh. It's all right. I'm here. Oh. The mortgage is in Darren Bickman's name, but it's his brother that lives at the flat. Does he know where he is? No, Adrian's autistic. The carer says that his brother's looked after him for years, so we're back to square one. You all right? Adam? Come in. Borough Commander Barrett's waiting in the front office for you, sir. Send him up. Doing here, Adam. What is going on? Come on, talk to me. Isaac and I shared a joint yesterday. I thought we were in private. Obviously, we weren't. What is this? Is Isaac blackmailing you? <laughs> no. Directorate of Professional Standards handed this to Barrett yesterday. Well, how'd they get hold of it? National Crime Squad have had Isaac Collins's office under surveillance. Barrett called a meeting and gave me last night to consider my options. Yeah, it's not very clever, but you are off duty. Only according to the yard we've been here before. Jerome Taylor. They knew that marijuana was planted in your car. <sighs> Come on, Gina. You know this job. Mud sticks. Are you all right? Miss Knowles, do you mind telling me how you know the big ones? Uh, their mum knew my mum. When Sally passed away, there was no one to look after Adrian. Darren knew I'd worked with special needs kids before, so gave me the job. And how often does he call by? What's he supposed to have done? Supplying drugs, possession of a firearm, attempted murder, take your pick. Darren! We can't be talking about the same bloke. Miss Knowles, we really need to talk to Adrian. 
right, we'll just go easy this time. I'd recognise that face anywhere. You're such a prat sometimes. Is that any way to speak to your boyfriend? How long do I have to keep up this little fantasy of yours? Ask me again tomorrow. Leave them! Do they have to do this now? Yeah, all right, I'll give us some spurs for you. Adrian's obsessed with tall buildings. Darren gave him half these books. Adrian, when did you last see your brother? Meadows. Gina. What do you mean, right away? Well, what for? Why? Do you like skyscrapers, Adrian? What's the tallest building in the world, then? Tower or building. They're different structures. OK, um, tower. Canadian National Tower. 553 metres. I've only ever been to the Eiffel Tower. Boyfriend took me there once. 324 metres. With a flagpole. Very good. Do you want to go there one day? It's the Torre Matfrey. Torre means tower in Spanish. Really? 154 metres. Oh, I see. It's not very tall. Don't you want to go somewhere taller? No. No, I'm going there. No, look, don't worry. We'll, uh, we'll work something out. Yeah. Has your brother bought you any other books recently, Adrian? Tell me your name. I'll make my way back now. Sorry. Tell me your name. Tell me your name. Yeah. Delayed, delayed, delayed. Okay. What's up? You're going to have to manage without me. I've got to go. Tell me. Yeah. Come in. What is this here, sir? You both know the borough commander. Sir? I'd like you both to take a glance over these. Copied, hand them to the relief. I've enjoyed my three years at this station, but due to personal reasons. You're leaving? Yeah. I've resigned. take it anymore. Oh. They think that me and you, ugh, you know. So, um, do you want to come clean? Tell them that you're an escort girl in your spare time? No, I'm sure Inspector Gull would just love to hear all your stories. You want to play dirty? Fine. Make your way. Please, Adam, please, reconsider. You heard better, I brought the service into disrepute. I've got no choice. And this is what your career boils down to? A six-line statement? Just read it to your teams after I've gone. I'd better get out quickly before tongues begin to wag. You best show me off the premises. Right, well, we'll go out the front. See you, Gina. Well, there's faxes. You don't have to take it yourself, do you? Evidence bags here with decent Perkins scuffs. Go off Adrian Bittman's bank statements. Make for very interesting reading. £2,000, £900, £500. Either disability allowance has gone up or someone's making some hefty deposits. It's the same with withdrawals. I'd say Darren's been using his brother's account to launder drugs money. OK, get on to the financial investigation unit. I want a full breakdown of transactions over the last two days. Go okay. All right, go. No, not really. Uh, right, can I have everybody's attention, please? Adam, my secretary said he left three messages. I fancied a drinking partner. I thought daytime drinking for your luck went out with a swinging. I resigned today. Actually, that's a technicality. I jumped before I was pushed. 
just what's going on here, Adam. Apparently, your office has been under surveillance for several weeks now. You didn't know about this? I don't have any contacts in the National Crime Squad. They still think that I'm some kind of gangster. Someone obviously thinks you're top league. I'm sorry. If I knew I was under surveillance, I never would have let you smoke that. This is all my fault. Forget it. I knew what I was doing. If I'm being honest. I've been looking for a way out for a while. Since when did you want to quit? There's a big difference between what people want and what they think they want. Denise used to say everything happened to God's plan. Well, I've lost my wife. I've lost my kids. And I've lost my job. What's God's plan for me? Hang in there. The darkest hour comes before the dawn. Maybe some people are destined to be alone. Talk about a bolt from the blue. Yeah, right. The car must have mucked up big time. Well, personal reasons the inspector said. Yeah, right. Bringing the service into disrepute, it goes straight from the horse's mouth. A car is straight down the line. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he's a golden boy. He was brought in to clean up this place after the dark days of Tom Chandler. Everyone's got a guilty secret. Even you probably, Tony. <laughs> you like to know. See ya. Two slices of toast, a cup of tea, and some chocolate for later. Uh, I can't carry two trays. Sorry, don't do cues. Uh, what about some money? Don't you want to buy your girlfriend breakfast? No. I know I'm no one to be dishing out advice, but she's not the girl for you. What do you mean? You're kind and caring, sincere, but a good all round type of guy. Thanks. I know I'm pissed to track Tony, but that's going a bit too far, you know. Oi, Toby, hurry up. Uh, it's a um, pet name. Oh, you could do so much better than her. Oh, yeah, like I'm swamped with offers. Just mean you have to jump at the first thing that comes along. It's just a bit of fun. Yeah, but take a step back, Tony. Come on, you've been around the block a few times. I mean, I'm old. No, older. But not some women like the more experienced men. Yeah, but you're nearly twice her age. You've got to ask yourself, what does she really see in you? What are you getting at? Money, security. There's you sitting on the three-bedroom semi. Before you know it, she'll have a pointy out and broomstick moved in. I'm not some daft old man, you know. No, I wasn't saying that you were. Yeah, well, where romance is concerned, we're not all as gullible as you. I know I can't replace your family. But I was there for you when we were kids at the Bernardo's home. And I'm here for you now, man. It was all I had left. That job was everything to me. That's not the solution. Go home, Adam. Rest. It's not a home. It's a mausoleum. My life might as well be over. Don't talk like that. You're scaring me. Sorry. Sorry. Look, I've got to get back to work. Why don't you come with me? I don't want to get in your way. I'll tell you what. I've been meaning to look into my security systems. And someone with your experience will be able to teach me a thing or two. Yeah. Yeah. I'll need to discuss the idea of my head of security. That'll be news for him. Thanks, Isaac. This means a lot to me. I owe you. How'd your lot take it? You could have had a pin drop. I still don't think it's sunk in. No, same here. After all he's been through, you know, Adam has thrown himself into his work. Surely they could have cut him some slack. I think maybe we should save the analysis for after work. Barrett and him were friends. You can't fight procedure. Oh, talking of which, Adam said he had no idea there was surveillance on Isaac's office. So? Well, it's so typical of them, isn't it? 
All cloak and dagger, never telling us anything. Well, maybe they thought the super would compromise the operation. Jack, what is going on? You know he'd never do that. Look, all I know is that our head should be on catching Bigman for shooting one of our officers. That's all that matters at the moment. Mick Roper, head of security. I asked Graham to dig out the ground plans for all our sites across London. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I thought maybe I could take a look at the physical security and then perhaps review the specific protocol. What do you mean? Well, take the manager of the furniture company. Lansden abused the system. Maybe I could devise some strategies, stop that happening again. Yeah, I'm dealing with that already. One step at a time, Adam. Meanwhile, Graham here will be on hand to make sure you are. So there's no need. I work better on my own. Hey, just because the uniform's Mickey Mouse, don't mean that I am. Oh, I'm not questioning your abilities. I, I could have got into the police, no trouble. It it's not as if I'm thick. Oh, excuse me. Well, we best make a start then. Adam, it's me. Report me for stalking uh, or whatever. I don't care, but just phone me, text me, something. You know, I just need to know you're all right. Shouldn't you be patrolling the building or something? No, Mr. Roper said just to keep an eye on you. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. Make sure you've got everything, I suppose. <laughs> That's a lot of cards. I thought you only needed one master for these security systems. Yeah, but these are the spare ones in case people forget them or something. They're colour-coded for each office. Oh. Well, as I'm meant to be reviewing security, you should add me to the rotor. Probably the best way of my learning my way around the building. Yeah, I'll check with Mr. Roper first, though. Hey? According to FIU, Adrian Bigman's cash card has been used twice in the last 48 hours. That's right. At one minute to midnight and one minute past, the card was used at an ATM at a petrol station on Whitson Road. Now, both times the card was maxed out, so obviously the geezer needs a lot of cash. He's clever. He's playing surf. Just going out when it's quiet. Well, at least we know he's still in the area. Not necessarily. We don't know whether Darren Bigman walked or drove to the petrol station. If he walked, he can't have been too far. That's a good point. Follow that up, Susan. A member of the public thinks they've seen Bickman in the post office recognise his face from the local paper. Well, let's not run before he can walk. We're going to need a positive ID first. Neil, get somebody down there to pick up their CCTV tapes. Cool. I thought I might as well get stuck in. Take a look at the risk assessments on the depots in Brailsford Street and Cheatham side. Anything else? Well, now that you come to mention it, Graham seems at a bit of a loss for things to do. I wouldn't want to waste his time. Yeah, I told him to look after you, in case you needed any help with anything. Mick is head of security. I have to respect the way he runs things, Adam. Are you sure security's for you? I mean, it's very different from police work. i better get on. Benny, I'm more like the way you drive. Okay, let's get one thing straight. You could amuse your tiny mind and take the mick out of me all you like. Water off the duck's back. But if I find out you're leading Tony up the garden path, your feet won't even touch the ground. You think I'm taking him for a ride? You're a gold digger. What? Tony's mortgage free nearly. He's not a boyfriend. He's an opportunity. <laughs> no, believe what you like. According to an eyewitness, somebody matching Bickman's description was seen in Carswell Lane Post Office. And the CCTV we got from there looks like him too. And he was buying 750 euro. Gov, night cashier from a petrol station in Broad Lane. Remember seeing someone similar using the cash machine at midnight. Says he arrived on foot. So how far's the station from the post office? Um, half a mile, if that. Well, there have been enough signs in that area to warrant a door-to-door. -door. 
Right, find Inspector Girl, see how many bodies she can spare us. Yes, Gov. What do you reckon, Gov? Is he planning on doing a runner to the continent? Maybe. Adrian Bickman. His brother, Adrian Bickman. He said he was going to see the Torre del Mapfre. What's the Torre del Mapfre? It's an office building in Barcelona, but Adrian's got this thing for big buildings. Well, this Cura did say that Darren loved his brother. What if he's promised to bring him out to Spain when he gets there? Right, we contact the passport office. See if Bickman's got a valid passport, and if he has, we do a no-ports warning. Good work. How much do I owe you? Ah, you're fine. Cheers. What a crisp. No, you're okay. So is that why you didn't get into the police force then? Medical? Oh, no. It wasn't always this big. I got as far as the final selection exams in 2002. So what happened? Well, my mum did you looking after, especially in the final stages. Final stages? Yeah. My mum died of leukemia last year. I'm sorry. At least she's not in pain anymore. That's what I tell myself. What about you? I'll get by. And chocolate and junk food. I never used to snack. It sort of catches up on you. You go up a size and another. And then one day you look in the mirror and you think, is that me? What happened to that bloke I used to know? Have you tried bereavement counselling? Yeah, like talking's gonna help. It's a hole that food won't fill. Believe me. Go on then. Spare me the calories. Oh! Oh! Crikey! Sorry. Sorry, mate. Look, why don't you go to the gents? I'll get this cleared up. Change it till Tuesday. Thanks a lot. Sir, yes. possible sighting at a news agent on Rudkin Road. According to the owner, Bickman's been in there for cigars. Don't tell me it's Harry Kradanovich. How do you know? Because he's Sun Hill's most vigilant citizen. He's had everyone from Elvis Presley to Lord Lucan through his doors. Okay, who had what? Cheese and tomato. Yep. Thanks. Terry? Smoke some Yeah, Joe. Me too. Sorry, the canteen only had one left, so uh, I got you this instead. Thanks. Susie? What's going on between you and Zane? Nothing. I want an answer. He thinks Gary's leaving because of me. But Gary dropped the bullying allegation. Look, do you want me to have a word? No, no. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm still here. Terry. 
That hand travels any farther south. Susie could do him, because that could all sign. Maybe she just wants to do him. OK, listen up, everybody. The National Crime Squad have received intelligence of a possible mobile number for Bigman. Now, the signal has been traced to the vicinity of Galbraith Road, and we think he may be staying in a B&B &B on that road. So we're going to brief on the hoof and rendezvous round the corner in Haygarth Court and block either end of the road off. We're going to need an ARV, Gina. Yeah. Search team, Zane Terry. Okay. Zane, have you finished that CPS memo for the Henderson sort? No, not yet. But if you don't mind, I'll take Susie instead. OK, right, well, let's get on with it. Anderson trial is not for weeks yet. There's no time like the present, Gov. Zane needs to keep his paperwork up to date. What's going on? He's been giving Susie a hard time about Gary leaving Sun Hill. He needed putting in his place. Well, let them sort it out. What are you saying? I hang her out to dry? Well, set that up quick if you don't get involved. Yeah, but if Gary dropped the allegations. Yeah, but you're a manager, you're not being partial. Otherwise, the troops are going to wonder why you're defending Susie all of a sudden. Well, there's nothing going on if that's what you're implying. Well, I wasn't with Andrea Dunbar. That was in the past. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Quite a lucky break, sir. Indeed. One might almost assume that NCS had a man on the inside. That's probably an informant. Or Superintendent Ricaro, of course. If you haven't been told, don't ask. So you're sure this is the man who rented the room from you? That's him, yeah. Clear, Gal. Cigars. Looks like Mr. Gradanovich is right for once. Give the man a lollipop. Looks like the Mary Celesco. Even the coffee's still warm. Someone's tipped him off. Where'd you get to? Sorry? During the evacuation, where'd you get to? I went for a walk by the river. It's been a surreal day. I don't think resigning this morning has quite sunk in. It was quite a bold move turning it back on a life in the police force. Just like that. <sighs> As if I had a choice. The fire brigade tell me the alarm was triggered by a faulty sensor in my office. Really? Uh, Mr. Roper just called reception, sir. He says Mr. Wilford is still on for tonight. Where's your pass from my office? Well, it must be here somewhere. I'm sure it is. Go. A witness saw someone matching Bickman's description get into the back of a green Audi about half an hour ago. What about an index? All we got was Lima Victor 02 Romeo. I called NCS, but it doesn't match any of the vehicles coming or going from Isaac's office. I wish you'd get back to authorise a PNC check with the names and addresses. Well, this could run into hundreds. What about Bickman's mobile? He's turning off. He's got wires, hasn't he? It's completely off the radar now. What is it? Governor, check this out. It's a compliment slip from a travel agency. This is coupled. Have you had any dealings with this travel agency? Sure, <laughs> this would be a fine thing. I can only ever afford as far as Eastbourne. So how often do you empty the guest bins? Every morning when I change the towels. Right, get down the travel film with the e quick as you can. Right. Right. Get up. I really don't understand what's happened. I said get up! You're fired. Oh no, Mr. Collins, please, sir. I really need this job. Then you should be more diligent and less chastising you. Give us a moment, Graham. What have us got into you? After what you told me this morning about the surveillance. Everyone I look at, every eye I catch, I feel as if someone's watching my every move like. Like my life's not my own. Look, it won't be forever. Don't get bored. Sorry. I'm 
sir. No worries. Look, you lean on me for a change. You're like a brother to me, man. Hiding from your girlfriend? It must be love. Every time she sees me, she wants something. Not saying anything. Look, um, I'm really sorry for snapping at you earlier. I was well out of order. Yeah, you were. But you're right, it's, it's Amber. She's a nightmare. It's a dumper. You're too good to let her walk all over you. Yeah, good afternoon. Hi, I'm PC Harmon calling from Sunhill Police Station. I'm trying to trace a green Audi that's been registered to you. Registration, Lima Victor Zero, to Romeo Foxtrot Echo. Yep, yeah, I'll hold. The thing is, everyone's laughing at me behind my back. So balance up the scales. Prove to her and the relief that you're not going to be messed about. I know what to say. Could you tell me who hired the vehicle, please? I'll help you with a few choice put-downs. Would you? All right, yeah. Great, you're on. Thank you so much. Honey! Sir. I leisure hired a green Audi this morning. Registration Lima Victor 02, Romeo Foxtrot Echo. Contact name Mick Roper. Right, get somebody down there to get copies of the documentation and do a police interest report. Congestion cameras, beat, traffic officers are on all eyes looking for that car. Sir, car it's Terry, no go at the travel agent. They don't recognise the e fit or the address of the BB. Joe, listen. Ask him to try Mick Roper. We know they're both associated. Maybe he picked up the tickets on Pickman's behalf. Terry, try Mick Roper. Spell it for me. Yep. Yep. Cheers, Terry. Mick Roper paid for one Eurostar ticket paid by credit card booked in the name of Wilford, leaving Waterloo at 90.45 tonight. Great. Neil, can you get XO19 down to station approach? Thanks, Susie. Thanks, Tom. No need to gloves. Yeah. Got a heroin user for you. Joel Harrison, FME's just declared him fit to detain. Why don't you close the door and give me a briefing? Your husband's in the station. Fo? What's the matter? You're not getting cold feet, are you? Of course not. Why don't you stand there? Prove it. Now you feel a little bit flustered. I mean, no one's upstairs. You're certainly feeling hot and bothered, if that's what you mean. Okay. Sorry to interrupt. Is it Casper? Sir. Uh, about dinner tonight, uh, can we go out Friday? Only things are a bit hectic at the moment. Yeah, I heard. It's not the kind of first week I hope for. Oh, well, don't worry, I'll get a takeaway or something. Thanks. You look like you need a drink after the day. How oh, bad? Maybe get a bite to be after? My treat? I can pay my own way. Think of it as an apology. Shouldn't have doubted. <laughs> Forget it. Come on, Heaven, man. Just one drink? Well, I'm driving. Leave your car here. I'll get you home. I'm really tired. It's been a hell of a day. I'm the boss. I'll give you the day off. <laughs> How about tomorrow night? All right. you suggest? I know. Tell her the sparkle in her eyes is just the sunlight shining in her rooms. <laughs> You're really enjoying this, aren't you? Excuse me, sir. Did you report an abandoned car? Thanks. Looks like the superintendent's car. 
Confirmed owner, superintendent Akara. What's this about Mr. Akara's car? Dean, there's blood down the side of the vehicle. I think we need CID down here. Jack, the green Audi has been spotted. Where? It's in the Waybridge Business Park. That's about half a mile away from you. This is connected to Adam's disappearance. It's too much of a coincidence. Sir. Yeah? Hang on, Inspector, there's more. I Leisure has a warehouse there. There must be a connection. Well, I hope so, Jack. Okay, on way. Good, Aaron Bick. Pleased to meet you. Sit him down, Mick. How did you know? The missing swipe card. Your unexplained absence. The lighter that disappeared. And someone answered my mobile while I was at the office. It had to be you. So what happens now? You broke the law. Simple as that. Does friendship count for nothing? Friendship means nothing without respect. I respect you always have, even when we were kids. You played on my grief. You're a leech, Isaac. Like the drug dealer you are, you feed on people's misery. The trouble with you, Adam! You let suspicion and distrust eat you up! I'm a police officer. It's our stock in trade. Your family's gone. There's nothing left in your life but the uniform. Get in the box! Sorry. You're gonna have to look me in the eye. Don't make this harder than it already is. Foo! <laughs> you! Shut up! Come on! Come on! Shut up! I said shut up! Come on! Isaac Collins, I'm arresting you for conspiracy to import drugs. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense if you do not mention when questioned something you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. I would have shot you. That bullet had your name on it. So why didn't you? Because I realized you're already dead. You're already dead! Looks like we got here in the nick of time. If you say so. Arresting her for disturbing the peace. <laughs> right, I go. Right, well, get you a drink. Uh, no, it's my round. Great result today. How's Superintendent Nakara doing? Well, I don't think he's going to be back for a while, but uh, after what he's been through, I think he deserves a break. It's in a new acting super then. Good luck. Well, it's not official till tomorrow. I suppose that D.I. Manson will be moving up a run. No prizes for guessing who's going to be made acting DS. Go on, give me a clue. Oh, come on, Gab, it's not like you haven't noticed. Susie Sim, D.I.'s personal assistant. Always on hand to take down his particulars. <laughs> hey, you do the honours. I'm going to go to the loo. Shield your eyes. Blow the dust off that puppy. <laughs> Think your old man tweaked anything? 
No, I was too stressed out about the whole Akari business. That's where my heart stopped being. Oh, me too. <laughs> it's fun though, wasn't it? You're kidding. I thought coppers loved danger. You want another one? No, I don't think so. Could go on somewhere else. I get a bottle, go back to mine. Or mine. What about your boy? He's at a mate's. Ian? Working late. Do you know what time I'll be back? I've got no idea. Sure about this? Yours it is then. I'll be outside in two minutes. I thought I'd find you here. Where's Gary? Transferred to Manchester by ambulance this morning. I wanted to tell him that we'd arrested the man who shot him. I'm not even allowed the satisfaction of that. Gary was not the reason you went undercover. He was the excuse. Chief Superintendent Barrett told me you'd rumble the cover story. Yeah, whose idea was that? I knew about the surveillance. When Isaac offered me the joint, I thought... What the hell? What? Isaac was going to kill you. Friendship means nothing to blokes like that. So? So, what would Denise and the kids have said? They're not here anymore. No, and that's why you did it. If you don't care about yourself, I do. Don't worry about it. I've learned my lesson. I won't be doing it again. Oh, I hope so. It's all academic anyway. How do you mean? I'm taking some time off. Consider my future. What you really are, thinking of leaving the service? I don't know what I want. All I know is I've got to start again somehow. Adam, you don't have to do this all on your own. You've got enough to worry about. My shoulders are broad enough for the two of us. I've been working out. Still here? You are. Too much to finish. Yeah, me too. Things will settle down, you know, with this Zane business. You're just gonna have to tough it out for a while. I know. I don't know about you, though. What do you mean? I've been getting mixed vibes from you all day, Neil. Well, I'm your line manager, Susie. I'm not your counselor. See you tomorrow, then, sir. Look. It's not me, okay? The DCI thinks I'm being too protective of you over Gary's allegation. Do you know how much I needed you today? <laughs> Just remember, play it cool. Enjoy it. I know I will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not very good at put-downs. I get all tongue-tied. Well, tell her if she wants control, sleep with the remote. <laughs> Gee, <laughs> you've got a better idea. Oi, what about my drink? Do you have that effect on all the men you meet? Only the ugly ones? You so don't deserve Tony. I know. Isn't it murder just finding the right guy these days? So, um, bear with me, yeah? I'd like to dedicate this song oh, my God. to someone who's very, very special. Or at least, she thinks she's very, very special. Mm -hmm. I'd like to dedicate this song to my ex-girlfriend, Amber Yo. Lonely in that office. Yeah, no. But it won't be forever. At least for you, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Things still bad at home? Oh, Neil. I'll let you get yourself off. Mm -hmm. You've earned it. No. What kind of friend would that make me? 
Why don't you let someone else carry you for once? What do you think that Jonathan's there for? Actually, um, I've put an end to all that. I'm much better on my own. Now he's living in denial. Should we go and get drunk? Do you mind if I do? No. Whatever you want. You could do me a favour. To get that bereavement council, isn't it? Oh, I've got it on me. Just in case you ask me for it. Thanks. Let me know how you get on. Actually, it's not for me. You coming? Take care of yourself. Next time on The Bill. Fire Brigade to 106 Nayfield Street. Are you falling in love with me? Maybe. I want to talk about your relationship with DC, sir. What gives you the right to judge whether what I do is right or wrong? If you're committing a crime, look, you're my son. I can't turn a blind eye to this.